Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about learning to move on quickly from the past. Let's dive in. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very, very happy that you're back and you're here with me. Today's message is about learning to move on quickly from the past. And this video comes up because recently I've been making a lot of progress in my life in different areas, personally, professionally, just learning lessons about things. And what I've realized is this, a lot of people, myself included, of course, and that's where this video comes from, get hung up on mistakes and especially rejection and quote unquote negative events. And this comes because a lot of the time when these things happen, it's an emotional hit to us. It's like a, a gut punch at times, you know, in different severities and different degrees, right? When you have a breakup, it's an extreme emotional blow or it can be and it can take us a lot of time to recover. But even in small things, if you're in a career, something like sales or, you know, you had something at work that didn't go your way, we tend to get hung up on the negative things. And what I'm learning is the most effective way that we can move forward is just to simply move forward and not dwell on it. Now, it doesn't mean that we ignore the lesson that that particular instance was trying to teach us, but what's important is that we quickly get into taking action and moving forward in order to continue to progress and not get hung up on the past. It's only when we start to dwell in the past and the pain of our mistake that it begins to hurt us and affect us in a negative manner. So using a personal example for myself, I'm basically doing, and what I've realized is uh, that my job right now is outbound sales, which includes a lot of rejection. It's sending out a lot of messages, many of which don't get responded to or starting conversations that aren't finished or go nowhere, or even booking calls and taking someone through my sales process, and then them not signing up or ghosting or maybe a future commitment that never happens. And even when they do sign up, sometimes they back out immediately, sometimes they drop out out of nowhere. You really can't predict these things. So what I've realized is that what's most important is that I let everything just roll off my back. And I think a lot of people don't take chances because they're afraid of the pain and the fear of rejection, me included. But what this process that I'm currently going through is teaching me is that rejection is inevitable. And the more that you embrace it and learn to not take it personally and emotionally detach from it and simply take the lesson and learn whatever that particular situation wanted to teach you and move on, the quicker you're going to progress, the quicker things are going to happen, the better you're going to be at what you're trying to achieve and learn and grow into. And most importantly, you're not going to be racking yourself mentally or living in fear of pain of rejection or that things might not work out. And again, what you'll quickly learn is, okay, it didn't work out, whatever, on to the next thing, on to the next message. Was there something I could have done better? Is there a better approach to this? Is it something that I'm doing? And spend some time reflecting in order, again, to gather the lesson. But once you have the lesson, and you realize what that pain of the situation was trying to teach you, just move forward and get right back on it because it's pretty wild. You know, I started, uh, it's the 16th right now, so it's November 16, 2022. And just this month for the first time after being eight months in this program, I really started understanding business metrics and what I need to start tracking. So I've been diligently tracking my numbers and my messaging. And I've, of course, lo and behold, what a surprise, things are moving forward. But what I've realized is that no matter what, I started on the first of this month and it's on the six, God, it's crazy. I look at the date right now and I'm like, God, it's already the 16th. It's half more than halfway through the month now. These days are going by so quickly and every day I'm doing the same thing. I'm getting up, I'm creating content and I'm sending out a bunch of messages, trying to book calls and doing these things. Two weeks have gone by so fast. So it doesn't matter what happens today. I'm doing the work. And regardless of the outcomes, yes, I'm here trying to learn and be more effective at producing a specific outcome. But if I sit here and I get hung up on what happened yesterday or the calls that flaked out on me or the clients that didn't sign up, I'm just going to sit here and screw myself and not be able to move forward and move towards what I really want, which is growing a successful business 
and building a community of men who are really looking to better themselves by getting in shape first. And if I sit here again and dwell on everything that happened in the past, uh, you know, the people that didn't sign up, the messages, uh, you know, that didn't get responded to, or the calls that I booked and um, got flaked on and no-showed on, whatever, if I sat there and really took it personally, I would not be making any progress. And it's kind of crazy, the more you, there's a saying, right? Do the thing and you will have the power. And as I go through, I'm just becoming like unfazable when it comes to rejection and like whatever. I had a client just sign up earlier this month and then told me he's not already told me I've had some things come up. I'm not gonna be able to continue next month. I said, okay, man, I get it. Like stuff happens, whatever. Don't let that affect you. In the past, that would have really gotten to me. And I'm like, whatever, we're just gonna move forward. There's a lot of guys out there who need my help, who I'm here for and ready to help. But if I can't help those guys, if I'm sitting here ruminating on the one guy uh, that decided that you know um, his situation, whatever he can't handle it, and he's not going to be able to move forward. Or the you know the sales call I had the other day with the guy that was you know saying he's all excited to sign up, right, and then ends up you know flaking or no showing or whatever. I can't help the people who I'm meant to help and continue to move forward if I'm dwelling on the past. So again, the main message of today's video is just to move forward quickly. Don't take rejection personally. Just get out there. And again, the beautiful thing is the more that you do this, the less sensitive you become to rejection and really just negative different things happening in general. You just kind of like end up being like, all right, whatever. Because what I've realized is that you will just move forward. You just got to move forward. You'll just go forward onto the next thing. That was yesterday. Today is today. I still have a number of tasks I need to do. The goal remains the same. Am I doing the things I need to do to move closer to my goal? That's all that matters in the end. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. Now, I've said this before in this video already, make sure that you learn the lesson because if you're, of course, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result, we all have heard that, Albert Einstein, it's insanity. So you do want to take the time to reflect and learn the lessons. Understand and evaluate your performance or your approach to see if there's any tweaks that you can do to become more effective. But do not sit in the pain of whatever the failure or the rejection or the unsuccessful you know approach or whatever that you took. It's there so you can learn from it. Every time you do that, you're getting better and better because you're learning what doesn't work. And as you learn what does not work, you're getting closer to what does work. And the more you do of what does work, the better results you're going to produce, the quicker progress you're going to move forward. So don't dwell on the past. Learn the lesson and just move right along, man. It's going to be another day today. And it's going to be another day tomorrow. It goes by quick. And like I said, already two weeks in of me just tracking these metrics is wild. It doesn't even seem like two weeks. I've, I've been in such the zone that literally this is the first time I've kind of looked at the date and been like, damn, I'm two weeks, in, <laughs> two weeks into taking this approach. Um, and it's going by quick and I'm having some success, but I'm having some failures, <laughs> but it will get better. So learn the lessons and quickly move forward. Do not things, do not take things personally. And this is the best way that you can really start to see progress in your life. It's the same thing with this is this example I use with my business as it is with any event. Okay. So if it's fitness, man, I didn't do my workout yesterday. Okay, whatever, you didn't do your workout yesterday. Don't dwell on it and let it stop you from going today. Just say, okay, screw it, and then go today. Oh, man, I you know ate too much yesterday. Okay, you ate too much yesterday, so what? So get back on your plan today and start doing it right today. See, see how that works? Just move forward. Like There are some events, sure, that may need some time to heal, like, if, like breakups and you've had an emotional commitment and attachment to another human being. Of course, that takes a little more time, but there are lessons about that. Again, it's the same thing. There are lessons about that relationship that you learned about yourself, about other people, about you want what you want, about what you don't want, about what works and what doesn't work. You're that much closer to having the relationship you want with the next partner you're with. So it doesn't mean, of course, that you just you know uh, move on and say, oh, screw it, it doesn't matter. Because you don't want to avoid and bury feelings down. You want to acknowledge and give yourself time to heal, reflect, and learn. But as quickly as you can and you're able to, just move forward. Just move forward. And that's the message for today. So regardless of what happened yesterday, today is a new day. And yes, I know you've probably heard this before. 
but if you've heard it and you're not applying it, have you really learned it? So move forward. Do not let the pain of the past prevent you from moving forward and creating the future that you want. Appreciate you listening and I'll see you next time. Peace.